What is up, O-Doers, and welcome back. Have you ever ordered something only for it to show up months later or just way late in general, and by the time it arrives, you've already moved on and you're just over your order? Delays like that aren't just frustrating, but they can hurt customer trust and just throw off your entire workflow. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how planning with accurate security lead times help keep production on track and orders on time. By estimating delivery times properly, we make sure parts arrive when we need them and products are ready to ship without them sitting in storage. So what is the lead time? It's the number of calendar days it takes to complete a process from start to finish. And there are a few types you should know about. First, we have customer lead time. That's how many days pass between when a product is ordered and when it ships out of the warehouse. Now, remember, whenever we're talking about customer lead time, we're essentially talking about delivery lead time. Then we also have manufacturing lead time, and that's how long it takes to actually build the product. Knowing these timelines helps us plan smarter and hit every deadline so parts show up on time and orders go out right when they should. Alrighty, let's clickety-clack into the world of lead times and get things moving. Okay, so let's get started here in the manufacturing app and take a look at a product that I'm selling, which is our industrial style shelf. To find it, I'm just going to click products at the top, followed by products once again, and boom, there she is. So I'm just going to click to enter into that product page. Now, there are a couple different places where we can define the lead time information. We'll enter the manufacturing lead time on the product's bill of materials, and the customer lead time goes right here into the product page. So we're going to start with that one. We'll just enter the inventory tab. And in the logistics section, we can find the customer lead time field right here. And for this product, we can see that it takes 10 days to process and deliver. Next up, let's check out the bill of materials smart button here at the top. Just click into that. And this shows us all of the bill of materials that are linked to the industrial style shelf. And we're just going to click this one and only one right here. Here we can see a list of all the components as well as the operations needed to make this shelf. But we're interested in the manufacturing lead time, so we're going to switch over to this miscellaneous tab right here. So in this section, we have two fields that we need to pay attention to. We have manufacturing lead time right here, and we also have days to prepare MO. Manufacturing lead time, which is how long it takes to produce the product from start to finish, for this case is three days. And then moving into the next field, days to prepare manufacturing order, which is the number of days needed to gather components or make sub-assemblies before production can even start. You can set this manually by clicking into the field, or you can simply click compute, and Odoo will calculate it automatically based on your bill of materials. So where does this number come from? Let's go ahead and take a look. If we jump back into the components tab and click the little arrow next to our pine wood component, which is the internal link button, it'll take us to the product page of the pine wood product. Then from here, we can click into the purchase tab and right off the bat, we can see that good vendor delivers us this component within two delivery days. Of all the components in this bomb, pine wood has the longest delivery time. So Odoo calculates that it'll take two days to get everything that we need. That's why the days to prepare MO field was automatically set to two days because that's the earliest that we can start manufacturing if we didn't have any of the raw materials on hand. So in summary, a 10 day customer lead time is the default timeline for producing an industrial style shelf. It takes two days to prepare the MO, three days to manufacture the product, and a five day processing period to ship the product to the customer. It's also worth noting that the customer lead time isn't linked to any other lead times. It's manually set by us, the user, to capture the entire replenishment process. Let's take a look at an order that we just received from our good friend, Deco Addict. Now, he placed this order earlier today and wants to know when he can expect his brand new industrial style shelf. And right off the bat, we can see that there's no available stock for this product. And that's indicated by this red icon right here in our delivered column. And if we click on this red icon, we get a clear message noting that there's no future availability for this product. And that's because there's no MO that has been created to produce the shelf. And we also just haven't started building one yet. 
So to get more details on this, we can click this view forecast link. And when we do, that takes us to a forecast report for our industrial style shelf. And from here, we'll click this manufacturing forecast button. And when we do, this opens up a bill of materials overview. And this is what we see. We can see that the next estimated available date for the industrial style shelf is five days from now. And it's also shown in red. So what's causing this delay? Well, we do know it takes three days to manufacture the shelf, but since we're currently out of Pinewood, Odoo adds two more days for us to purchase and receive those components before we can even start production. So now that the lead time setup is all coming together, we need a total of five days before this product is ready to ship. We need two days to get the materials and three days to build it. Looks like it's time to give Good Vendor a call so we can restock on our Pinewood. Two days later. And just like that, let's pretend two days have passed. During that time, we placed the order and received all seven pieces of Pinewood. Now, as you can see, we have everything we need in stock so we can officially start that manufacturing process for our industrial style shelf. Oh, and check this out. The estimated availability date for the shelf has updated to three days from today, which totally makes sense since it takes exactly three days to build the shelf from start to finish. We're officially ready to roll, so let's go ahead and head over to our manufacturing application so we can manufacture this industrial style shelf and maybe even get it shipped to Deco Addict earlier than expected. So we'll start by heading back to the home screen of our database and just opening up the manufacturing application. And from here, I'll click operations at the top followed by manufacturing orders and then simply click new in the upper left hand corner. Now in the product field, I'm going to enter and select our industrial style shelf and then click confirm. Now when the MO is confirmed, we can see that the scheduled start date is set to today and the scheduled end date is three days from now, which is when we expect the shelf to be finished. But here's the fun part. My manufacturing team just let me know that the shelf is already done. Total legends. So I'll go ahead and click produce all. And when I do, that'll mark this MO as complete. And just like that, it's time to get this shelf over to Deco Attic. Looks like we might just surprise him with an earlier delivery than he was expecting. So let's go ahead and finish up this order and make this happen. Now we'll head back to our homepage once again, but this time we're gonna enter into the inventory app. And from here, we're just gonna click this one to deliver button here in our delivery order section. And look at that, it is for Deco Addict. So we'll just click into this here. And all we have to do to complete this is click validate. And now this has been shipped over to Deco Addict and he got his shelf much earlier than expected. And there you have it. Estimating delivery dates and planning production doesn't have to be complicated. Odoo makes it easy to stay on track. If you want, you can explore more scheduling tutorials. Feel free to check out our videos on planning and master production. But that's all for now. Go grab a snack, take a break. And hey, if no one's told you today, you're doing great. See you later, Odooers.